Today we're going to take a look at the A24 rat trap and how it works. You can see inside it there, that's where the rats get smushed up against this, uh, this uh, <coughs> base here. And the piston comes down from the top. And we're also going to see how many strikes can the A24 uh, CO2 cartridge work for. Because we've gotten 18, we've gotten 15, and so forth. So we're going to take a look at this one, and we'll see how many more it's got left on it. And then when we're all done with that, we're going to try another uh, third-party gas product. I'll show you. I'll show that better later. And see if how many strikes that will do, and and see whether it's worth uh, buying a third party or buying the gas uh, cartridges from uh, A A23. I'm going to take this off carefully. Now, whenever I'm using the, uh, working with the A24, I always have my eye protection on. Take it off here, and you can see by pushing this red button. It's still hard to see. There's 16 strikes so far. So every time the the uh, trap goes off, it vibrates the gas cartridge and this uh, has an accelerometer in it and detects how many how many uh, strikes. So of course without the camera, I have a video camera, a wildlife camera on the trap all the time to see what's going on. Because just because there's a strike doesn't mean anything. You have to see what actually happens. So. So we're going to start out by seeing if there's any strikes left on this uh, cartridge. And this is get this good. So we're going to grab, I'm using a bicycle spoke as a little hook on that. We're going to grab the uh, the trip wire. Oh, you can see <laughs> there's still at least one left in there. That startled me. Okay. So that's 17. Somewhere I read that it's called A24 because it'll have 24 strikes on a cartridge, but I don't think that's true. So. All right, now we're going to try in slow motion and see if we can see what's happening. I'm going to use this uh, stirring stick and actually put it in here to see how, how well it gets crushed by the A24. Stirring stick didn't get hurt too badly, but it's very thin, so we'll try it this way and see if it gets smushed in this direction. And we actually hit two strikes there, so uh, we'll try to just get one this time. So far, we're up to uh, 18. Okay, so it did crush a little bit more, but uh, this this is actually fairly stiff in, in the vertical direction. So uh, anyway, we saw it worked. I, in slow motion, it doesn't look like it's doing very much because it comes down very slowly. But that was 240 frames a second. This is 60 frames here. So I'm gonna try. I'm up to 19 strikes. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try to use up this cartridge and see how many are actually on there. I think that might have been the last one because it. Didn't hit very hard that time. Yeah, so that's it. All right, so 19 good strikes, and in fact, that last one didn't even register. All right, so 19 strikes on a cartridge. Okay, so now we're gonna take this cartridge out, and we're going to replace it with the other cartridge, and then see what happens with that one, see how many strikes we get out of that one. All right, so I backed up a little bit, because we've already seen it up close and slow motion and all that stuff, so we don't need to do that anymore. Take this off. And we uh, unscrew the uh, cartridge, which is now exhausted. And uh, we take off the, uh, the uh, strike checker. Easier said than done. I have to get a pair of pliers, I think, to get this off. So I'll be right back. All right, so here's the cartridge. We're going to take this off. 
fitting that pretty good. It's got to have a nice tight fit or else it isn't going to uh, register. And so this is showing 19 strikes. There. If you push and hold it down, I'll reset to zero. Blinks and then it's back to zero. Okay, let me know what the new one is. So here's the uh, Good Nature cartridge. And they claim that you should only use these cartridges because they take special care not to make sure there's any water in there, which could could affect the how well the trap works. And if you do don't use their cartridges, you could void the warranty. So this 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 uh, trap is I think all over two years old now, so my warranty's already out. And I think uh, most cartridges, high quality cartridges for bicycles like this one, are fine. I mean. You you don't want uh, water in your uh, tubes on your bicycle because it can uh, cause rusting in the uh, the fill nozzle and so forth. So I'm sure these will be fine for about half the price. I'll put a link in the description to these and also to these. Uh, you can recycle this. It's made out of aluminum, so I'm just going to recycle this. So this is a pro bike tool. There's uh, bike inflators you can buy. I don't, I don't use one. I just use a pump, but. Uh, and it's exactly the same thread. It's exactly the same. The shape is slightly different. This, this uh, has a more sloped uh, neck here. I don't think that's going to make any difference. Hopefully. Let's see if this screws in. So we're going to screw it in here. There's the uh, connection. And it will pierce it. I mean, we need to screw it in smartly so that no, not the least amount of air leaks out or CO2. Do it pretty quickly. So that got a nice tight fit, and I don't hear any air leaking out. Then we can put the striker back on, strike detector. And again, the diameter of this is, is basically the same as the other one, so it's a nice tight fit. And we'll install it on here, and we'll start hitting it and see how many strikes we get out of this one. Put on my gloves, just in case. I'm going to use my uh, bicycle spoke, which is the safest way to do this, in my opinion. It's got a little hook, and uh, it's made out of metal, so it's not going to get messed up. So we'll just see how it goes. So I'm not going to do these in slow motion. I'm just going to hit it one after the other and let it reset and hit it again. Marked off one of my clamps. I also have it screwed down to the top here. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's getting kind of bent up. Let's fix this. Get this straight again. Are we up to now? We're up to eight. Okay. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, I think I let some extra air out of there by accident. I didn't let it reset. 15, double check that. This is only showing 13, so. Fourteen. We're gonna pause and let it reset completely. Fifteen. The striker may have a uh, yeah. It probably has a time delay on it, so you don't actually get two show two strikes if it keeps wiggling a little bit afterwards. So we're up to fifteen. Sixteen. 
Actually, I'm gonna have to count because I think I missed some because I I hit it too fast. So, see, we'll just keep going. I'll count. I'll I'll use the video to count how many there are, and put the uh, captions. That's it. So the striker says 18, but we don't we got more than that. So again, I'll count them with the video and I'll put in captions after each one. Okay, so we get at least as many from this uh, bike tool version as we did from this one. So I I think it's fine to use this, and uh, like I said, you can save some money. So I'm gonna put this back together and uh, I'll put a new cartridge in using one of these bike ones. And I'll uh, put some more bait in there because I knocked some of it out for the testing. And we'll put it back on and we'll see what happens. The other day, a mouse jumped up into the trap and didn't set it off, unfortunately. It must have been eating the bait that was down at the bottom here or something, but hopefully we can get him. That would be interesting to see how, what happens when a mouse gets up in there. Because a rat can get on, stay on its hind legs and uh, get inside the trap and set it off. Whereas a mouse has got to hold on to the sides with its back legs and then uh, uh, get its uh, head up in there to get the bait. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.